Good afternoon, guys. Well, here's a change of plan to what I was going to do originally. <coughs> well, change to the order of what I was going to do things in anyway. I had planned to get the GX80 out and get that up and running, but uh, my power brick arrived with a mini Dell. So, I've just done a power on short test thing, so. Appears to be working. Uh. You so know the fans don't work because one is not installed. I've got to get one. But, uh, well, it's not hot, it's actually cold, so it'll probably be alright just for short test bursts like this. But uh, I will get the fan for the front here. I've got 320 gigabytes SATA drive left. Well, I suppose I could put that in there. It's not like I'm going to be using it for anything else, so... Let's see if I'll pick up the drive, shall we? Screw in the side here, I don't know if I'll need it, so... Let's take this off. I've got someone interested in a bunch of... My uh, computer bits and pieces. <sighs> Don't give you much in the way of slack. Um, I don't really want such a large drive on that, but I do need a short. Short Tata Kibel, which is in here somewhere. Excuse me, just for one second. A nice close up. Whoops, close up of the box. No, that's too long. Well, that's for the Dell server, that one. Need one of my really short ass ones. Go orange, could go red. Or it could go blue. I'm gonna go blue. Because I like blue. Let's go blue. Got match the colour of the SATA socket. Okay. So there's my SATA socket and a nice bright orange LED. So on the uh, hard drive first, like, no, I've got to put it up the other way, ah, that back to life a bit easier, and then at that, it's got the gold in there, if I can get it on there, it's on there, like so, I've got a big ass cable floating around, and I don't know where to put it. Alright. Let's turn it on this time and see what happens. I don't know, there might even be an operating system on that, I can't remember. Hard drive and fire strike. F1T to continue.
boot devices there. <laughs> Cause system battery is low, wherever they put that. I'll find it in a minute. Oh, stood on an old CD case. Okay. Mm. And for some reason, floppy drive is on and we don't have one. Well, that's why it's not recognising a SATA drive, because it's off. Now it's on. Why the hell SATA would be turned off, I don't know. Let's close that. It's a 3.2 gigahertz processor. Looks like it's only a single core though. It doesn't matter, it's still pretty good. It's only designed for Windows XP anyway. Yep. It's registering 2 gigabytes of the DDR2 memory I put in there. Clock battery is dead, or system battery is dead, and there's no point in me doing the um, clock because it's just gonna disappear anyway. Right. How do we. Save and exit. Now that should pick up the drive. know that I didn't waste my money buying that because I know this works. So I've just got to find a cheap system fan to go in there. That's why it's coming up as fan failure because there's one missing. It says hard drive fan failure but there isn't one. Just as a um, storage drive or something. Well, I might use that one, I don't know yet. It just seems rather big. No, actually, I will get a smaller one. And uh, that's it. Oh, 
I need to find a drive that's going to fit in there. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm just going to check that it still does boot up because this did get rather hot earlier. Oh yeah, that still turns on, that's fine. Don't know what to know. Uh, take this drive out. Windows didn't boot, I think it's because it's got corrupted. Actually, I'm pretty certain it's because it's got corrupted. Uh, I might as well leave the 2 gigabyte RAM in there for now. What I like about these is covers. It's got boots on here from something or other. So. You don't need to grease parts of a computer. <laughs> it just slides on. Just sit it on top like that and uh, slide it back into place. Done. Well, that's good. No, I can't get the <laughs> can't get the power power. Ah, there we go. That was it there quite well. I'm gonna fall out on you. I do it with a DVI cable really. I know I've got some monitors with DVI sockets on them. Well, that's good. I'm glad I didn't waste me eight pounds with that adapter. But, uh, I'll put this together and hopefully I'll be able to do what I want to do with it. Now, I'm pretty certain one of those laptop drives would fit in there. I think that's all that is. I'll uh, have a look through my box later and uh, see if I can find one that fit. A hairball right in the middle of the doorway that the cat's put there for me. Yes, you. Of all the places to choose to throw one up, you pick in the middle of the bloody doorway. <laughs> There is enough to pick up if you let them dry. That's what I do. I let them dry out and then you can just pick them up straight off the floor. But uh, considering that one's in the door hallway, I'm going to pick that one up before it dries. Right. Um, well, that's it for this video. Just want to uh, test that PC, which works fine. Just got to get the fan. Find a CD drive for it. Uh, well, actually, if I get a cable, I could use the external Dell one that I've got down there. If I go buy the M299 cable for it, because it's got a, uh, what do you call it, on a parallel port on it. Mind you, it'd be slow as hell. <laughs> oh, dear me. Wind burping like anything at the minute. Right. So, uh, thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you didn't, you know. Whichever takes your fancy. Um, and that's it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye.